just how much of an acknowledgement is this that, that um, the methods you've been using up until now, albeit everyone's been working very hard, but the methods you've been using up until now just have been um, really in the wrong mindset and so misguided? These guidelines are a recognition that the approach that's been taken in the past was the wrong approach. It was based on a number of assumptions uh, which don't withstand scrutiny. Um, the guidelines change that um, and they require the police and prosecutors to focus uh, intensely on the allegation actually being made um, and not so much on the weaknesses or vulnerabilities that are invariably there in some of the victims that come forward. Um, could you just expand a little on, on what you mean by the, the kind of things that were going wrong? Just give us some, some kind of obvious examples of, of how um, the, gui the previous guidelines weren't really up to standard. The assumptions that were made uh, included the assumption that a victim of child sexual abuse will swiftly report what's happened to them to the police, will be able to give a coherent and consistent account first time, that they will not themselves have engaged in any offending or other behaviour, um, and that they will not have misused drugs or alcohol um, at any stage. Those assumptions uh, do not withstand scrutiny. They've got to change. The guidelines make that clear. And so this is a clear break with the past.